I'm gonna get the chair. I'm gonna get the chair. Okay, that's better. So I don't have to, don't have to squat. This angle sucks and the lighting sucks, but welcome. Um, Today I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna keep this intro a little short, but I'm gonna go over some like Instagram, TikTok, workout apparel brands that, you know, I may think are overrated or underrated, whatever. I'm going to share my opinion. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of the ones that I have, not a fan of. I'm just going to be brutally honest. All of this stuff I bought with my own money and I've had for a while now. So none of this is like brand new. I've worked out in all of these pieces at least four times plus. Some of it I wear all the time. But let's just go right into it. We're gonna start off <laughs> somewhat nice and then we'll get into the ugly and maybe we'll finish it off with something good. So without further ado, let's get these clothes on. Okay, first up we have navigation and that's why I have this set up so y'all don't have to see everything I'm doing behind here. Um, So navigation. I have a couple navigation pieces and I'm going to show you some that I don't like as much and some that I do like. So this is one of the sets that I do like. This is one that I bought more recently um, in Candy Apple. So I've got the matching sports bra and the seamless shorts. So, or the contourless shorts, but I think they're called seamless on the website. Okay, so I have to just be honest. There's a lot of navigation colors that you could just cannot wear. And I mean, it speaks for itself. The Barbie crotch is very real. And I don't know if I have really narrow hips and I almost feel like if I had wider hips, see how, and I mean, I don't know. I'm just putting this out there. I feel like if I had something to kind of pull this fabric out so if i had you know some junk on the side here it would fit a little bit better but definitely lots of bunching in the front here but the bunching in the front means bunching in the back which is really really flattering so you know you kind of get what you want and then this is the back of the sports bra and it's pretty cute right but i will say the sports bra is a really, really cheap material. I have washed it a couple times now, and I don't know if you can see, but it's it's not pilling yet, but it's definitely going to. You can see how it's very textured. It's not smooth anymore like it was when I first got it. Um, here's the back close up. It is very cute. I will say the straps sometimes get all twisted up when you're first putting it on. Um, but this is one of the cuter navigation fits that I think is a little more practical. It is a lot in the front here, so sometimes I'll just, you know, walk with my water bottle in front of me or just tie something over the front. But this is one of the better ones. I have quite a few navigation pieces. I have two of the leggings. I've got a couple different pairs of shorts. I had a pair of the scrunch shorts. Do not buy those. I only was able to wear them, like... 10 times and then they ripped so just completely avoid the scrunch from navigation but honestly this is not bad um it could be a lot more flattering especially in the front like i said so i don't know if it's my body type if the curvy girls will get on here and let me know if if this is you know less noticeable with wider hips but yeah this is a cuter piece um if i had to rate it I would give it like a seven because it is a really, really pretty color, but it could be a little bit better. Okay, so I threw on another navigation fit just because I have a lot of their pieces and I just want to be 100% honest with you guys. There's a pair of leggings I have I literally cannot wear. If I wore them on camera, the video would get taken down. They're just that bad. These shorts are a close second. And what's crazy is these are the exact same shorts I just wore, but in pink. And like, just the Barbie crotch is crazy. Like I can get away with it if I'm standing like this because that's how every girl on the navigation Instagram is posed. They're all doing this or they're all doing this, which 
too close so you can't tell which is very flattering but i mean i my coffee is gonna help me out here because i cannot wear this to the gym okay it's just like no so there's just some colors na for navigation that you just can't wear and these are still like marled if you know what i mean where it's got like the specks of color but i don't know for me there's just still not wearable so any light color with navigation i would avoid and this is also a navigation sports bra this is the back of it sports bra i don't know i just this one's weird for me i got this off of poshmark from someone who already owned it and it just is weird for the sizing right so this is a size small and it is so unbelievably tight on this part and i'm gonna go over some other brands that have really tight sports bras too but this is just like really really tight especially compared to the bra i was just wearing and i have another navigation sports bra that i'm gonna put on um for a pair of leggings i'm gonna go over and you'll see like it fits much bigger so i don't know they're just their sports bra sizes are not consistent it's not that i don't like this but i absolutely never wear it it's just a very weird fit this could have been really really cute but it's just too long like it looks like a shirt and it just it's super high up on the neck so i don't know for me i just every time i put this on i i want it to be cute and it just doesn't look that cute so yeah this no the the pink from navigation i, I just don't know about it i'm gonna rate it a two out of ten i'm about to really make some of y'all mad so <laughs> this you know that looks cute right so this is a Gymshark sports bra. I have not tried any Gymshark bottoms, so I cannot speak for Gymshark bottoms, but I love their sports bras, okay? They are really, really good quality. They remind me a lot of Nike sports bras, and I hate to support Nike, but they have really good quality stuff, so I, I don't buy from Nike if I can. Like, I try not to um and Gymshark is great this is the bandeau sports bra that they have um i've got quite a few i've got the scrunch one i've got one of the training ones that's like really compressive and really nice um and yeah i don't know it's just it's really cute very comfortable i think it gives a fair amount of coverage because i know they've got some on there that's like what is it like the barely there I could be totally wrong. I don't even know. But they've got a sports bra that's like really, really tiny. I don't know how y'all are wearing that to the gym. But yeah, Gymshark sports bra, 10 out of 10. I love this. I don't. I haven't tried a Gymshark sports bra that I don't like. Their bottoms kind of scare me because I hear really bad reviews about them. So I don't know. I'm happy with the sports bras. But what leggings am I wearing? I'm sure you saw. I'm wearing Alpha Lee, okay? I don't like these. And they are not worth the price tag. And I just have to put that out there. If you don't have a lot of money and you're like on the fence about buying them, do not. Like, just don't. I honestly, I bought these on Black Friday last year or something like that. They had a sale and I don't know. I think I paid like 40 bucks, which is like basically half off which is still effing expensive so my first number one complaint about this is if you have dogs definitely don't buy these like they just oh my god i have to lint roll them every single time i leave the house and the dog i have he's hairless and somehow there's like fuzz and crap all over me like if you have like a jacket on don't wear these leggings because they are just magnets to anything. I don't know why. They always look dirty. And I know I have the black pair, so I know people are going to be like, well, you're wearing black. Still, I have tons of leggings that I don't have to freaking, like, oh my gosh. It's just really annoying. <laughs> I don't like having to lint roll them every single time I wear them. Um, They're way too long. This is a size small. And they're just, I've got them rolled up. They're way too long. Can you imagine if I, I mean, look how long that is. That's insane. They're really, really big. Like, I guess one of the big things that people are like, oh, like, 
absolutely doesn't give you camel toe, doesn't give you Barbie crotch. That is such a lie. Like these are black and I can literally see it right now. So I don't I don't know why people hype these up. I do not think these are special leggings. The scrunch is not cute. You can literally see it from the outside. Like I don't know. Maybe I'm just a hater, but I do not like these leggings. If these leggings were $25 or $30, then maybe I would like them, but $80 is insane to me. And I could not imagine buying a different color in these leggings. I don't know. So call me a hater because I've only tried the one color. I'll never ever buy it again. Cause these are the Amplify. Like these are like the leggings everyone loves. Trash. I'm total two out of 10, not good. <laughs> okay, another brand I have to slander. So, this, I I hate it because this is like, could be so cute, you know? These are those scrunch leggings that were all over Instagram and TikTok, and tons of different brands made them, but this brand has been around, I feel like before that whole thing kind of blew up, and I also own a pair of shorts from this brand, and I actually do like the shorts. I'm not going to put them on just because... I gotta do stuff today, like, I gotta hurry this up anyways. Okay, so, this is the brand Peachy Buns, and I saw them on Instagram, and I think now they've, like, really blown up on TikTok and stuff, but I bought this stuff a while ago. I think I've had this for, I don't know, probably two years now. So, I've got this really cute little sports bra just goes like that on the neck it's very open in the back which i think is super pretty i really think the idea of this bra was very very cute i don't love it anymore and it's because i've worn it so many times and it's just a very low quality material so it's just one of those things where it's not like a long-term investment. It's definitely giving sheen material. I know that the brand definitely resells other like Chinese wholesale type of things. Um, it's pretty obvious because they have like the same, like they have like all the dupes, you know, of all the big brands. So you already know that it's going to be crappy quality. Um, this rolls up all the time and i don't notice this i'll be working out and i pass by the mirror and my bra looks like this which is just like not cute you know it's just not cute when your clothes are all wrinkly and you can see like the sides are really loose now it used to not be like that it used to fit really really pretty like that so it's sad because at one point i really really liked the sports bra and i wore it all the time and now i pretty much never wear it because i just it's just not supportive anymore and yeah so that's the sports bra and i think the back is so cute so honestly like the design is there but the material not good so mm, mm, give it like a four out of ten leggings no they're just a no the material is not good they are not very stretchy and the seam of this scrunch you guys there's not much room so i can't really like squat but oh my gosh it's like that long and it just like feels like a rope being yanked down <laughs> between your cheeks like absolutely not and it's just uh, it just i don't know this is just a fail like no just just not good the top's okay bottom's not so good but i like i said i have tried a pair of shorts from there i did like but same thing just like shitty ass quality like fabric so eh, i want to love peachy buns but i don't and i don't want to keep investing money in clothes that aren't gonna hold up so i'm gonna do like an overall rating of a four okay sorry if the camera angle moved a little bit i had to check my phone let me take a deep breath before i shit all over these leggings okay not literally but they're gonna get some slander. Let me grab my coffee. Okay, so let's start with the sports bra. So this is the uh, another navigation sports bra that I have. This is not navigation. So <laughs> these leggings are so ugly. Okay, 
back to the sports bra. This is another navigation sports bra, like I said. Oh, and I didn't mention it in the candy apple set, but I've taken all the pads out of the navigation sports bras because why do you need that? Why, why are pads and sports bras a thing? I literally don't know. Why is the material not good enough to cover the nip? Like, that's the real question. So anyways, look at this back. Really, really cute, but um, so annoying to get on. These straps just twist nonstop. I'm sure they're twisted right now. That's one of the biggest complaints I have with this bra. Yeah, like the sports bra is okay. It's really, really cute. Um, same thing with the fabric on the, the candy apple one. I haven't like washed this one as much. I haven't worn it as much. So it still looks like it's in good shape, but I know y'all saw all the texture on that other one. And so this is not gonna look like this much longer, sadly. So I do like this sports bra. I think they're really cheaply made though, but they come with a cheap price tag. So, you know, honestly, you kind of have to give navigation the benefit of the doubt on that side. So yeah, y'all kind of know how I feel about navigation. Pretty hit or miss, good for the price point, but they're probably just not like long-term pieces, which I'm trying not to spend my money on. So enough blabbering about navigation. We know that we're on the fence about it. I would give it an overall rating of six. On to these motherfucking leggings. I wanted to love these so much because the color is stunning. This is, let me just compare it to Okay, so this is the, the Navigation Bubblegum color, and this is the Women's Best. I don't even know if I said the brand. These are the Women's Best brand, and you can see, like, I honestly like the color of these better. They're really, really similar. Obviously, they're super similar, but I love this cool tone Barbie pink. It's just so freaking cute. But these leggings are trash, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. First off, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Why can I put my whole upper body in the waistband? It's also humongous and it's one of those materials that once you stretch it out, it's done for. And I don't know why, it's just always been been like this all loosey goosey, I guess because it's so high. Like why don't y'all cut the fabric down to like here? Like that is way more flattering. I don't know what the hell they're thinking with this gigantic waistband. I do not know who actually can fit in these. Second thing, so unflattering on the butt. Like, what is that? It's honestly, it's it's similar to the bow and tee leggings. They just, they, I don't know. They just don't give anything. I will say there's no Barbie crotch because it's giving nothing. So I think these are trash. Literally, that's not even the worst part. These are just so unstretchy. Like, y'all hear that? It's like, bam, slapping against my skin. So unstretchy. I don't even remember if they're squat proof, but let me tell you, there's a hole in the butt of these and I don't remember, oh, oh no, it's not a hole. It's a seam, it's a ripped seam. I know y'all see that. I was putting these on one day for the gym and I'm wiggling them up and they go Rip, and I was like, what the hell is that? And I looked and I saw that beautiful rip seam right between my cheeks. Like, are you kidding me? I just, I have only worn these. There's another hole in these. Let me find it. There's a hole. Oh no, here it is. There's a hole right here. Okay. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's pretty obvious in person, okay? I have worn these leggings to the gym two times. Two times, and there's a rip between my butt and a hole in the side of these pants, and this is what the waistband looks like. Trash, okay? I don't wanna bash women's best totally because I do really like their supplements, but what the hell is going on with these leggings? The material sucks, the fit is garbage, 
there's no stretch. Color's really cute. They nailed the colors, but whatever company they're distributing these pants out of, oh my gosh, get it together. These are a zero, zero. Okay, I'm back. I have probably changed the camera angle again because I just joined my first podcast for the first time. So that was kind of cool. But anyways, so got another outfit on. This is from Be Able or however you pronounce it. So I am going to have to do the flamingo pose. Okay, let me, because the camel is so real on these and that's why I don't love it. And it's it's sad because this is a really, really pretty outfit, okay? It just misses the mark in so many places for me. So I'm gonna get up close here and I'm gonna tell y'all why this is just not good. So let's start with the bra. So this is a size small bra and bottom, um, but th same thing with some of the other sports bras. This is just an insanely tight band and it's just too tight for it to be a small and also, the straps are crazy long. Look at this. That is insane. That should not be that loose. So there's just literally no support on this at all. Um, and it, I mean, it doesn't even matter that I have like big or small boobs. It's just, it's still tight on my chest. It's just very loose on my shoulders and the straps. And I just, you know, it's pinching my skin. So I don't know. It just doesn't fit right. It's cute. It's a really pretty color. Um, also kind of got discolored in the washing machine you probably can't tell because the lighting is so bad but i don't know it, it's not like bleach stains but it's like a little bit yellow in certain spots of it i really don't know so on to the shorts i like literally cannot even step into the frame you know what let's use this hairbrush Boop. <laughs> okay there we go that works um so yeah it's so bad I can't even show y'all it's so bad. There's a front seam, just so you know. So it's just really not good. The back, um, it's got a flattering like V cut. I just, I don't know. It It's not really giving that much though, to be honest. Like it, it's kind of cute. It's sad because it wants to be cute. It wants to look good. And I think this brand has like a decent price point um but i mean i can't wear this it's not practical this bra is not practical it's a really cute color like i don't know they're they're kind of different colors because i've washed the bra so much i wear the bra like separately i can't wear the shorts they're so bad but i wear the bra but i can't do like anything crazy in it i can't run or anything so i don't know this brand just disappointed me i'm gonna give it a three wah, wah. Okay, so that last fit, the Be Able fit, that was supposed to be the last one into the video because I already tried this outfit on. And then I watched the footage and I was like, oh my god, you cannot wear that. Like, I didn't realize how bad it was. I'm in front of a window, so there's direct light on the clothing and I realize how see-through these are and so... This is a bow and tee outfit. I'm just gonna do the same same little flamingo pose just so we can get through this. Um, I kind of always thought that these looked like my bare skin and watching that footage back just completely po proved my point. Um, I guess it's just this color. This color, it looked way more pink online and then I got it and I realized how light it was. It almost just looks like an off-white. Like I'm literally behind a white background and I don't look that far off from it. It's not very pink and honestly, like, I don't know. It just kind of washes me out. Not as cute as it looked online. And I have a couple things to say about it. So let me, let me get closer. So the sports bra is like, I don't know. It's just not fitted right little tight on the straps. I do really, really like the back though because it's all sewn at the bottom so you don't have to worry about the straps getting twisted. That is amazing. Thank you, Bowen T. Y'all really thought about us, okay? That is so nice. You don't have to worry about anything getting tangled or twisted. Um, The back of the leggings are literally giving nothing. Like, it's the same thing with the women's best. Some seamless leggings 
are not like meant to go up any curves or anything like that. And these really just squeeze all around you, but don't really give much of anything. And that's the problem with the front of these is that like, I, mean, I can like bend over. It's not even like that the Barbie crotch is bad. It just literally see through. So that is a problem for me. And maybe other colors are better, but honestly, I don't know. I think Bowen Tee is a little more pricey if I am remembering correctly. And so I just don't know that I would, that I would buy this again in any other color, but I have the shorts in the exact same color. Um, and style and everything. So let me put those on because I wear the shorts a lot and I need to see what this looks like now that I'm like by some lighting. So let's see. I don't know. Maybe the shorts are better. Maybe they're not. All right. This one don't make no damn sense because these look fine. Like they are not, they are not nearly as bad as the leggings. I swear this is the same material. This is like, I don't understand. I don't know if it's just... The fact that the whole leg like pulls it tighter in certain places, maybe that's the case. Maybe it's just literally the fit, but I'm gonna be honest, like the way it looks right now is because I'm standing still. If I did like a whole workout, they just, they roll up, they go up and I don't know, they're just not the most practical. They're definitely like more lounge, maybe yoga, but even like I do yoga and I wouldn't want to do yoga in this. I don't want to sit here and like adjust my pants after every movement. So it's so sad. Like that's what sucks about social media. Everything is so deceiving. Okay. Like it is so annoying. So that is everything I have to show you today. It's unfortunate that I had a lot of negative things to say about this, but like I said, I spent my freaking money on this stuff, so I'm gonna be honest, okay? Um, I had everything good to say about Gymshark, and like I said, I've only tried their tops. I've heard a lot of bad things about the bottoms. I feel like it's gonna fit like the bow and tee and the women's best seamless. I honestly do not do not like seamless leggings at all. And that's why I really like the brand Airy, Airy by American Eagle. I don't know why, but their leggings hit every single time. And do they make, they have, I have a pair of shorts by Airy that are seamless in the front and have a seam in the back. They fit perfectly. And for some reason, I cannot find that exact same style on the website or in the store anywhere. I don't know if they don't make it anymore or what. I'm really sad. I only have like, this tan color in them, which is not like a color I would grab very much. But I love airy leggings and I love their shorts. Um, you know, some of the material is not like the most compressive, like this bow and tee is like good material. It's just like the bra is not fitting right. It's not the most flattering. The color is kind of see-through. So I'm not gonna buy it again. Like that's just the end of it. Airy, I have like tons of the same shorts and tons of the same leggings. and. They're not sponsoring me. I'm paying all my damn money on this stuff. But all I'm saying is, like, I had so much negative stuff to say. You're probably like, what the hell do you do wear? I really like Airy. And like I said, I really like the Gymshark. I do wear this stuff. Like, even as much as I hate those Alphalete leggings, I wear them. Because I spent my fucking money on them. Like, hello. Um, but they're just not that flattering. I, I have some leggings that I've retired because they're, like, near their death. And I'm afraid to wear them to the gym that I just love so much. And a lot of them, like, they're discontinued, which I just, is, that's so unfortunate. But, yeah, I'm done rambling. Y'all know how I feel about these clothes. So hopefully this will help you out if you've been thinking about, like, buying these clothes. And like I said, some of them are in the right direction. Like, I think Bow and T probably has some decent stuff on there. Um, I've just never tried anything else other than this set and was my opinion on it. So, and that goes for everything else. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. This is my first, like, I don't know. Is lifestyle the right word? Lifestyle video? I don't know. I don't normally talk about my own shoot, but have a good day, you guys. See you soon.